Swallow, Lemons, and it's too far out in front of Ellis. Good for And they can start here with a goal. Sub last week against the Swans, Xavier Dersma retains his spot in the team, bends it around, and that is brilliant from Dersma. He might have to pull out the bow and arrow early this afternoon. <laughs> He wasn't even in Port Adelaide's best 22 a couple of weeks before the season started, but had an outstanding year. Miller, the meat and the sandwich there. There is Power Pepper on cue. Dixon got it up. Farrell, part of the seas, and kicked the ripper. That's just great from young Payne Farrell, swooping through on his preferred foot. It's a need to improve for the Suns. Aim onto the open side. Drew's got a couple of beats, and he beat them by knocking it to Jones. Clever. Didn't go for the mark, and now feeds the handball on to Rosie, who's normally pretty creative in this situation. Heads to the top of the square, Georgiades with a ribbon on it. Against Sydney, Connor Rosie sets this one up, and Georgiades makes it three goals to nil. I saw his handball. It's a matter whether to do it above head or below ground. You can you can still do it. So Frederick to Jonas, Dixon the target, one on two, hits the deck. Swiped out, but didn't go far enough. And Jones has made him play. Graham tried to flick it away. Flicked it straight to Jones. The wrong colour jumper had it. Wits down a row, going nowhere. Given eternity. Gave it up to Wines. He got the clearance in the end. Jones having a little purple patch. Spins around, hits the target, lace out. Marshall. From directly out, this should be easy. He's the most accurate goal kick in the competition this year. A big summer recruit heads long, and Georgiades, brilliant set of hands. So he joined us late. The Suns have kicked the last four goals of the game to take the lead. Port Adelaide have just taken the lead back again. To Burton. And Port gets some early momentum back. Dixon crashed it, Georgiades at the back. He's been good. Pick up superb. Opens it up with the handle to Bog though. Put him under the hammer. Jones. Charlie on his left. Not bad. Brilliant. Big Charlie with goal 300. And he brings it up in style. King Charles. One behind the footy, one in front of the footy at all times. Look how small that football looks in the big game. Looks like Shaq trying to shoot a free throw. It's a good spot. Marshall held it low enough, according to the umpire. No need to tell you how big this is. This is for the lead back. Straight through the middle, and Port back in front. Adelaide mid here. Yeah, he'd have a few family and friends in the house as well, ranking as Finlayson. Feeds it. Missed tackle. Power Pepper. Shoots it, Boak, over the top to Rosie. He gets his moment to show his class and delivers. It's goal for goal. Fantastic goal by Port Adelaide. It's going the wrong direction. Jonas gets it eventually. Out to Jones. In some space. Charlie Dixon. Back to Jones. To half forward. Going back with the flight. Lemons, but he left it behind. Power Pepper with the look away to Georgiades. They've got the numbers. Just need to think their way through it. Rosie spins it around. A little bit of Rosie. Check from Rosie. On the boundary at the moment, the export magpie from Salisbury back home. Dixon rips it out of the air. Heads in the Finlayson direction. Finlayson wrested from the rock and delivers a big goal here. Nice Ruckman against him this afternoon. His mate Port Adelaide pay. He turns that over, though. That was horrible. Finlayson straight back to Marshall. And that could be of massive cost. Oh, he kicked it to his direct opponent. So far this afternoon. But he, you can see in his own eyes, has the confidence that he might be able to slot it. And he slots it with ease. Well, he's just growing before our very eyes and becoming a major force in the competition. And I think full credit goes to his coach, Ken Hinckley. Farrell, Collins, Jones, Jones. Collins put that on the deck, gone. This kid is looming as a 
star of the future, and he finds Marshall on cue. It could not be in better hands. For the number one sharpshooter in the AFL this season, and did you ever doubt him? Port by 10. The power champ rings around the Adelaide Oval.